Well, first of all, I'm inspired by the idea that it's a national group of presidents coming together under the uh, under the umbrella of Campus Compact, which is an organization I so admire, and I really appreciate the leadership that you're providing for this organization. So it has a national, it's a national movement, but I, the reason I'm so interested in, I think, the University of San Diego is, is I don't think there's been a, um, a greater need in our society than this time right now. Uh, we've just emerged from a period in our history where we've had two wars, fighting two wars globally, we came out of the Greatest Recession uh, since the Great Depression, and we also have a number of questions in our society with regard to how do we treat each other as civil and responsible citizens, including issues around race relations, and some very serious issues that perhaps higher education hasn't faced in five or six decades. So because of that, I think we all need to recommit to the soul to the I think the foundational piece of why we exist as college universities, and that is to prepare responsible citizens. And so I'm very excited about uh, helping. We have such a talented group of faculty and colleagues here at the University of San Diego. We've been doing great work for a number of years. And how can we pull that all together now to really be something more meaningful? In those five principles, to me, the reason I want to affect the regents is because I'm so excited that someone has articulated those statements and to me they're so clear and beautiful and and i want to share them i want i want to go right to the top and say this is what we should be doing this is the direction we should be going with the university i mean we're working on diversity inclusive excellence and all these things but that can all come out of this so that's what excites me about it from a big picture is that uh, to me it could be an all-encompassing thing what has really struck me here is the um, support that I hear from everybody with everyone else, encouragement, and the word that I keep hearing a lot is connectedness and being connected and being connected with the community, being connected with each other. So those are the things that really have struck me. And so there's really a sense of um, we want to support you all as you come up with your civic action plans. So that's been really, really helpful, so I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I think too, I really liked how this was a true working, it's not a conference, this isn't a conference, I mean there were breakout sessions, there was good food, you know, there was a beautiful reception on the lawn, so we had all of those conference-like uh, elements, but this was work and it, I had the opportunity to work with Steve together in, in just beginning the work, but but it was nice to be able to do it in the context with all these other people. We had dinner last night with uh, someone else from a different school, and we just talked all night about our engagement experiences and our different uh, universities and how they're doing it and how we're doing it and the challenges and things that are working well. And so I really appreciated the opportunity to work with, with our colleagues at our university and also the time just so we could connect to the other universities that go beyond the session. So that's where the best work usually happens. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Mark. Our campus participates in Campus Compact because it is another way that we can, one, learn from what other campuses are doing, draw strength in numbers, have a collective identity, and not feel like we are going it alone in this work of engagement as a campus. We are also grateful that we are able to participate in the innovative program like the um, Community Engagement Student Fellowships, which are um, we participate in through the California chapter of Campus Compact. And uh, for the past two, two and a half years, We've had these community engagement fellows who've made a difference both because of the 50 hours of service that they're doing in the community, but also because of the ways that they're supporting the capacity of our uh, community-based learning program. So we'd just like to say thank you. But I've also heard wonderful things about your leadership and that being the key change that Campus Compact needed in order to, to move where it is. And the conference was spectacular. And, reinvigorating and it was nice to see campus contact again. You have that on tape. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I shut it up.